is in this we are going to see some more concepts of uh, graph parallel edges so what is parallel edges here if you take this graph a to b is there again one more edge is there so this is said to be parallel edge if you see this graph here we have single edge a to b a to c but c to d has two edges c to d is one more edge is there here again there is another edge so in a graph if a pair of vertices a pair of vertices is connected by if a pair of vertices is connected by more than one edge this is one edge another edge one edge another edge then those edges are called parallel edges multi graph a graph having parallel edge if the graph consists of parallel edge then we call that as a multi graph so this is a multi graph this is also a multi graph here if you see this is also a multi graph because there are two parallel edges here a single parallel edge here they have two parallel edge so this is said to be a multi graph next we will move to representation how you can represent graph now you are going to uh, write algorithms and all so how you know how you can represent the data structure of the graph so to be start with we can represent the given graph uh, like in three ways one is incidence matrix adjacency matrix and adjacency list first you will see what is incidence matrix in incidence matrix you will draw a matrix between the vertices in the graph and the edges of the graph so a graph containing m vertices and n edges can be represented by a matrix with m rows so you will be representing the vertices in the row wise and edges in the column wise the matrix is formed by storing one in its i th row and j th column that is that vertex and edge meeting point will be storing a one if there is an edge from that vertex or else zero if there is no edge so let us see this diagram now this is the graph so we have 1 2 3 4 we have named the vertices to be v1 v2 v3 4 so that is given in the row wise and in column you write the edges e1 we have named that also e1 e2 e3 now if you draw the incidence matrix how you will draw so for example v1 e1 is coming out of e1 it has the edge v1 is connected with uh, connected to v4 through this edge e1 so it has a connection with the e1 so we make that meeting point v1 e1 to be 1 whereas v1 is not connected with this edge e2 so you enter 0 same way v1 to e3 there is no connection so it it is not connected with this edge so 0 now if you see v2 v2 is connected with e2 whereas it is not connected with e1 or e3 so those thing e1 and e3 is 0 whereas e2 is 1 same way v3 here v3 e3 is connected whereas it is not connected with e1 and e2 so those two are 0 and v4 it has connection with p1 e1 e2 and e3 so here all are 1 since v4 has connection with e1 e2 e3 okay now we'll see this graph another graph where we have again four uh, vertices and four edges so if you see that v1 v1 has connection with e2 so put one there and e1 so here whereas with e3 and e4 v1 is not connected so that zero same way for b2 b2 has connection with e4 and e3 so e3 and e4 but it is not connected directly with e1 and e2 so those are zero same way b3 e1 and e3 so e1 and e3 it is not connected with e4 and e2 so those two are zero same way b4 it has connected with e2 and e4 it is e2 and e4 not with e1 and e3 so another example for the incidence matrix where we have 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 vertices and these are all the number of edges up to e8 okay so if you see i'll give only one b1 for e1 it has connection with e3 e2 and e1 e1 e2 e3 all the others are zero so same b5 
if you take v5 e8 e3 and e7 e3 it has then e7 it has and e8 all the others are zero so all you have to fill up the matrix like this this is one representation of the connection of the edges uh, coming out of the vertices another one is another representation is adjacency matrix where we have number of rows also vertices and number of columns is also the vertices so a graph containing n vertices can be represented by matrix with n rows and n columns where both rows and columns represent the vertices and the value which you are marking here either as a zero or if they have a edge between those two if there is a connection say for example v1 to v4 there is an edge between this the previous one we check whether uh, this vertex has the particular edge but in the adjacency matrix it 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 talks about the edge existing between those two vertices so v1 to v4 we have e1 so if we say that v1 to v4 we have edge we don't have we don't have connection we don't have any edge between other two so all those things are zero so if you take v2 say here we v2 to v4 only we have that is v2 to v4 all the other it doesn't have the connection if you take v3 v3 is with v4 v4 v3 with v4 only all the others are zero whereas v4 if you take it has connection with v1 v1 to v1 v1 to v2 and v1 to v3 v4 to v4 self loop is not there so this is how you write an adjacency matrix now let us come to the so here you can take the other examples v1 v2 with the same graphs how you can represent with the adjacency matrix only thing is here you here this is this side also row also will be vertices and column also will be vertices so v1 to v1 self loop is not there v1 to v2 v1 to v2 there is no edge whereas v1 to v3 v1 to v3 is there and v1 to v4 is also there so likewise you have to see the adjacency matrix